space has fascinated us for years. New interesting discoveries are constantly being made, not just showing us how small we are, but giving us an insight into the wonders of our universe. It's likely that within many of our lifetimes we'll see humans on the red planet, as these missions are going to happen within the next 10 years. Jim Bridenstine said the following about the upcoming mission. We are working right now to put together a comprehensive plan on how we could conduct a Mars mission using the technologies that we will be proving at the moon. End quote. Unfortunately, despite these new claims, and this new rush to beat this SpaceX's Mars colonization developments, a report has surfaced from the Science and Technology Policy Institute, the detailed information and proof to be provided to the United States Congress, that supported the conclusion that NASA does not have the technology and infrastructure to sustain or craft a Mars mission whatsoever by the year 2033. The report also assumed that even if the NASA budget was treated as an unlimited resource, the time constraints in the project specifications would be impossible to meet, with NASA's current employee numbers, work output and overall technological advancements. The report detailed the following. We find that even without budget constraints, a Mars 2033 orbital mission cannot be realistically scheduled under NASA's current and notional plan. End quote. Despite this report, and additional supporting claims by other corporate space agencies criticizing NASA's developments, the organization still feels capable of supporting a 2033 Mars mission and says it will use a number of Martian rovers to gather complex information on water gathering techniques and soil samples on the red planet to decide what course of action will be best for human colonization. Recently, NASA captured an interesting object close to our sun. In recent years, this object has become known as the cube, and theories for what it is ranges from an unidentified flying object to camera anomalies. NASA have pointed out that these objects are nothing of interest, have nothing to do with unidentified flying objects, and have said there's no need for further explanation, as what we are looking at is something like a glitch in the data. However, not everyone agrees with this idea. In fact, another one of these cubes has just showed up at the sun, and right away UFO believers started to share the image. The image shows what looks like a giant cube close to the surface of the sun, with some saying it looks like solar rays are causing the object to look a little faded. And as mentioned on NASA's website, the joint NASA ESA Stellan Heliospheric Observatory mission, SOHO was designed to study the sun inside out, from its internal structure, to the extensive outer atmosphere, to the solar wind that blows across the solar system. Launched in December 1995, SOHO was meant to operate until 1998, but it's been so successful that ESA and NASA have endorsed several mission extensions over the past two decades, allowing it to cover multiple solar circles. As believers pointed out though, these mysterious cubes keep making appearance close to the sun, with one researcher saying that in one of these images it looks like the cube is interacting with the sun. One user who saw the image said the following, This image looks strange because it appears it's been blacked out. We've seen this time and time again on places like Google Earth, but now it appears to be happening in space. Something is clearly pulling away from the sun, and even having an effect on it. I'd love to see what's behind it. It's strange that they felt the need to black out whatever was there. In most of these images, the cube is by the side of the sun, but this is one of those times where it actually appears to be having an effect on the sun. End quote. Others went on to share more images of these mysterious cubes, pointing out that others appear to be embedded inside the sun, or even interacting with it. As of right now, UFO researchers have said they think these crafts are not from this world, and could even be monitoring our planet and watching human civilization. Interestingly, those who have studied these anomalies have said there's two different times. You have this one that looks kind of transparent and cloaked, then the other version that looks like a giant black cube. 
UFO researchers have said the large transparent cube has a kind of cloak on them that means it's harder to see them, whereas the black cubes aren't actually a cube, but were actually placed there in order to hide something behind it. Those who've used measuring tools have suggested these giant cubes are hundreds of miles in length. Skywatchers go on to say it's not just the sun where these large objects are seen, but they've also appeared close to our moon as well. As mentioned, amateur researchers who have measured it have said it's massive. But what do scientists make of these anomalies? Firstly, they've said that what people are seeing is definitely not an extraterrestrial ship, and that sometimes space debris can take on different shapes that makes it look like something is not. NASA and other space agencies have said they presented evidence to back this up, and notes that although they look impressive, when NASA's scientists have looked at them they've always turned out to have a mundane explanation. According to one scientist, they noted that many of these images show these anomalies, and all that people are seeing is glitches in the software, and that it has nothing to do with UFOs. NASA backed this up and said that out of the hundreds of thousands of photographs they've taken, they've never once captured an unidentified flying object. Further saying that another thing that could explain what people are seeing is that of space debris, and when this flies in front of the cameras it gives off the illusion that something is there when it isn't. Our planet has many incredible locations, but some of these places are not safe being home to steep ledges, cliffs, uneven terrain, and paths that sometimes fade into nothing, causing untrained individuals to easily become lost. Over 250,000 individuals are reported missing every year, with estimates of actual missing person cases that are left unreported, pushing that total number to over 300,000. With that many reports, it's no wonder that a vast majority of these cases are left unsolved. However, every now and then we're left with things like photographs that leave us with more questions than answers. One mysterious story is that of an 18-year-old hiker who set out to climb the Hayuku Stairs, one of Hawaii's most hazardous trails. Daleen Mokpua vanished on the 27th of February. According to family members, he told them that he planned to hike the Haiku Stairs, more commonly known in the region as the Stairway to Heaven. Before doing this, it's reported that he saw his grandmother. After talking with her for a while, he told her that he wanted to climb the Stairway to Heaven, to which she told him he couldn't as it was closed. She said the following, I told my grandson that it's closed. They're not letting anybody climb that mountain. It was on the news and I told him that. She continued with the following. All he said was he was going hiking. I didn't think he was going there, being that I already told him that that place was closed. Since then he hasn't been seen, and his whereabouts is a complete mystery. According to the local fire department, Pua posted photos on his social media, showing that he was close to the trail. This was the last time that anyone would hear from him. Since then, the local fire department, the US Navy locals and drone operators have helped with the search, but none of them were able to find anything. Worryingly, not long after going missing, two hikers came forward and said they heard cries for help, and this caused officials to extend the search, hoping that the cries for help proved that Pearl was still alive. Nothing was found though, Searches were soon stopped shortly after this, but locals and family members still went up to the trail in the hopes of finding him. Chillingly, a local hiker posted on Reddit and said that they heard someone shout, help me. They said the following, A lot of people have their information mixed up. I could never explain to you the feeling I felt when you hear a cry like that. The hiker did not trespass and got the stairs, by the looks of the photographs, he didn't even make it to the stairs. The hiker went up a different route. I'm not a local so I don't really know any of the names of the ridges, 
All I can do is try my best to explain to others where we went and where it was that we heard him. We started the hike on a trail around 20 feet from the trail. We'd hiked around three hours up. We were yelling to each other to make sure the others were okay because we were so far apart. The wind had slowed down for just half a second and we heard a scream. Help me. It shook me up so bad that I had to sit down to even call 911. My friends were around 50 yards in front of me and little did I know they were also calling 911. All five of us heard it at the same time. If we were going straight at the trail, the voice was coming from the left. It was coming from down below. It did not seem as if it was echoing nor did it seem very far. The scary thing is that after around an hour, once the rescuers were there, my friend and I were bound and determined to get to the top of the stairs, so we decided to carry on, and the other three stayed where they were. As we carried on to the ridge we could hear the firemen and rescuers down below whistling and calling for him. Again the wind slowed down just a tad, and we heard someone shout, I'm down here. My friend and I both stopped in our tracks and started screaming for him. It was not the rescuers. The voice was different from the calls from the rescuers. I immediately called 911 again. We stayed up there for around an hour without moving and tried to listen for him. The wind was so bad and the clouds were starting to roll in, so we got to the point where we couldn't hear anything. My friend and I that heard the last cry are heading up the ridge tomorrow the same way that we went Monday. It's hard to explain where the location was that we heard it, as well as where the voice was coming from. End quote. One of the locals, Mr. Bowen, said the following. I know what it's like to be in hairy situations. We've had a couple guys go up the saddle with plenty of rope and climbing gear. The rest of us went down and scaled all the different areas including the waterfall. Another volunteer, Mr. Tyson, had this to say. I'm a hiker. I'm going in the woods all the time anyway. Might as well try to find him. If it was a relative of mine, I'd want all the help I could get. The stairway to heaven is notorious throughout the area as being a hazardous trail. Locals have said that powerful storms have hit the area and damaged the trail due to people getting stuck and going missing. Locals have asked officials to shut the stairs to the public, while avid hikers have argued that they should just be repaired, so that people can start to enjoy them again. Officials have said that Pua likely passed away somewhere close to the trail. The ability for people to completely disappear into thin air continues to be a haunting reality. The unpredictability of the wilderness has caused mass uncertainty in these untraceable vanishings. So what do you think happened to Pua? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.